Hello and welcome to my video. My name is Samuel Vidal and today we are going to continue where we left off in the first part which was creating a human character of um, Kiyomi Blue. Now we're going to create the character Blue Hair Robotica which will be the robotic character after she had that accident and the explosion. Okay. So, what I am going to focus on this video is edit some stuff and prepare this model to be exported into a FBX file and then import it in Blender so I can do the, you know, final edits like creating the suits and, you know, changing parameters and, and textures. So, first thing I want to do now is, let me see, my idea consists of now changing her hair, because <clears throat> in the explosion, her hair got all burned up, okay, so now when she was re reconstructed, I guess she got a hair implant. And I'm going to use this hair, um, right here, the swam, and I'm going to use Laval hair, okay, that's the new implant hair, mm. okay, wow, that looks awesome. Look at that. This is the reason why I like these um, hairs. See, look at the difference. <laughs> anyway, um, if I would go to stage element here and material, swam, and go to the Laval hair. Let me see if I can find a blue color. Uh, nope, there's no blue color, got a purple here. <clears throat> so that means that then I will have to change the color of hair manually. So I will go to the modify panel here on the material. Okay, I got two textures, one for the hair and one for the base. So I go here to the adjust color. Okay. And first, I'm gonna set the hue to it's blue. Wow, that looks awesome! And just gonna put the saturation yeah, that looks cool. Then, lower a little bit of brightness. And yeah, I like that, see? That uh, looks awesome. <clears throat> okay. So par parameters here are negative 7, negative 140. Okay, I have to do the same thing now for the base. Here, the base. Okay. So I will set this negative 7. Well, this one I can do it here. It's a hundred, and then forty. That's the base, okay. And going to save that real quick. Okay, next thing I'm gonna add here. Um. Um, a corset which is right here <coughs> this one I mean it could be anyone it doesn't matter because the reason I'm adding this course set here is because first of all I'm going to delete this outfit here okay 
and you know I don't want to show any nudity so that's why I'm just using that corset there to you know just when whenever I import this model on Blender then you know I have something to cover her until I can put a, like a texture here just to you know not show any nudity <clears throat> okay now let me see just gonna go here to others and our publishing wicked confessions and I'm gonna have this um socks here I think okay and the glove no the glove sorry <laughs> glove that's for left glove and yeah I guess this one for the right glove for the right and okay now I'm going to replace the shoes or shoes and another type of shoes just gonna use um, this one here PRCCF here I could let me see change that color just simply change it to black just don't want it that still too black Yeah, I guess this is good. It's just if you do it too dark, too too black, then you're not gonna see, you know, this area here. See, that's all it is. You know, so I don't like it all the way to a hundred percent. See. there okay 85 that's good okay let's just save and then let me see do I need to do anything else as far as no I think this this is it so um, the only thing left to do now is to export her in the FBX file. Okay. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Wait, wait, wait. Um, I realized that uh, I do want to do something before that. Um, just select the body real quick, and on the full body here, I'm just gonna simply readjust again. Um, the body on the body thin I'm just gonna put it now in 35 make it a little more thinner so that's all and, and let me expand a little bit of the shoulders see it's like I, I like them a little bit more wide so let me see if I do 60 okay should that be good yeah, I guess. I guess that looks good now. Yeah, okay. So, that's it. 
and then you know we're just gonna do regular exporting you know look for blender option here not embedded current position export um, BHR for Blue Hair Robotica and save. And there goes the export. Okay. <clears throat> now we'll be going to Blender. Okay, now that I have um, Blender open here, I'm going to delete this cube. X delete. Okay, file, and we're going to import the .fbx file, okay, and I want to delete those um, keyframes, okay. Uh, okay, press well, press here one. Okay, I'm gonna do a render test here. Uh, display um, view here. Just gonna grab this point light here and move it. Then press one for front view. And I'm going to grab it there. Okay, world properties and I'm color here. I'm going to adjust the background to white. Then I'm going to go to render properties, uh, color management, and this option view transform. We're going to put that in standard. And the look, we're going to put it in medium high contrast. Okay. okay so now that that's been done <coughs> I to select her body here go to the modifier properties select these two options okay see now we go to edit mode by pressing tab and select with a Let's go to face select and we go to material here <clears throat> and I'm going to create a new material just gonna call it black glossy and obviously put in black here <clears throat> um, specular point two Roughness point two, okay. And what I'm gonna do is going to select um, the the body material here, which is this one. See, okay, see. And I'm going to temporarily apply that black glossy material. See. Now I can get rid of this corset. Delete. See? Now I know in this case I'm not, I can use a filter because then you know you're not going to be able to see what I'm doing um, once I start building the, the suit. Although I'm not going to be doing that in this video, I'm just only going to focus on this video on the face. And then on the third part, I'm going to be focusing on her body. Okay, because this might take me, um, you know, a little bit of time. And then I don't want to create a long video. Okay. <clears throat> Let's just fix this. Okay. So now, select hair, hide it. Okay, 
select the body edit mold and I tell you one of the things that I like um, from models of Cathy Creator 3 is the topology this is a very neat and clean topology see it, it's amazing and sometimes I like to when I, you look you know when I look at the topology I like to look for forms see because for example I want to create like a mask see on her and I could just simply come here and put like a a, a plane there and then kind of trace it and build the mask see but I could also kind of do the mask you see the using the her her face contours see And I think uh, that's what I'm gonna do, okay? So I set a good form here, which is this one. Okay, this here. Okay. I'm going to select all this, okay? Now, for example, let me show you something. Uh, let me see. It's gonna go here if I select this face there I, f I select it there and then I just say it, I go here then I press control right click boom and it'll select all the um, faces there as long as the same loop okay mm -hmm. okay uh, here, here, okay, we don't need this one. So, okay, I follow, select all the spaces here. and select this see sometimes it'll look the the closest path you see like I select this this face here and then when I select here instead of going here it went down here it selected the here because it was the closest one so okay from here so one two three four five six okay select that one and select this one okay so let me make sure everything is selected see okay All right, um, press H to hide, select this, and select this, okay, all right, and Alt H to bring back everything, all right, uh, okay, that's good. I'm gonna press um, Shift D to duplicate that, and just going to create a new material. Well, actually, just gonna set this to black glossy. Create a new instance and call it glossy. And I'm just gonna fix that. Okay, and we're going to select that to green. Okay. 
and with that selected I'm just gonna press E to extrude and then Alt S scale it out just to give some thickness see if you think is if 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 it's not that much then you know we can still go a little bit more well I don't want to go too much okay I think that looks good there okay and it's going to select everything <sighs> and shift H and you notice um, there's back faces here see they're not going to be visible so I want to get rid of them so they select everything and we're going to select this ones here these um, faces here no not that one not that one um, uh. okay uh, to undo you just press ctrl z and that will undo okay everything then you press h to hide it and now select one of them and control l so, and delete and Alt H to bring everything back up. Okay. And now, just gonna put here latch loop here. To sharp that because I'm planning to put a subdivision surface on it. And there's all the edges here. I could do the same thing, but there's another way to sharpen those edges. If you select them, well, I'm not gonna do it on here now. No, no, I'm gonna do that now. There, uh, at least this one's here. And this one's okay, and you're gonna press N and this tab here, the main crease option, put it on one. Okay, that's gonna sharp that edge. Okay. Now, just gonna go here, okay, and just gonna select that one, the face, and control right click, select, and again, control right click, and press C for circle select. Okay. And I'm going to deselect these faces here. Okay, that looks good. And next true. I'm just going to bring it back up. Yeah, that's like that. Okay. And going to select all these edges. Okay.
I like all these edges here. And we have to select these ones. Press N, and put it on one, okay. And I forgot to say, because I'm, I know I've been doing it, um, like if you, for example, if I need to select an entire row here of edge loops, just um, press um, Shift, Alt, and right click, okay, and that will select the entire loop. Shift, Alt, and right click, okay. Um, and just gonna just gonna go here and try to do this as fast as I can. Look, I, I even forgot to select that one there. That's okay. And hide it, and then select everything. And I'll edge to bring back and I just select that black glossy. Okay. And let me select the, the edge there. So I forgot to select it. Put it a one. And this one's here. Well, I'll do that in a minute. I'm going to show you why. Um, let me select these faces here. And let me create a new material here. It's going to call it Mission. And I'm going to close this here. Just going to put a red. And submission here. Put in red. Just going to put it the strength um, 0.5 for now. And we'll assign that there. Let's see. Okay. Looks good, it looks good. Okay, and let me see now. Just gonna go here to modify properties and I'm gonna add a subdiv subdivision surface. So, let's move that there now. See, looks good. Just control everything. Well, at least the mask. And face, shape move, and just gonna bump it to three. So it'll be very smooth. See how long it takes. <laughs> okay, That's something weird here. I don't know what it is. Well, okay, you know when I put the uh, subdivision surface here, see? Look how long it takes. Um, you see that this area here looks kind of curved. You know, I want to do it more square. Okay, so just gonna select this corners here, this edges here in this corner. Only the corners, okay. Okay, and then N, and I'm going to put that like 0.5. Okay, now let's just put the subdivision surface back. Let's 
Let's see. That's how it looks. And something I want to fix here. Okay. Oh well. Simply put it out there. Okay. Press G, C, and I want to straighten. Okay, and then for the middle one, same thing. There we go, see? Looks more straight now. Okay. Okay, now I'm gonna go to the eye portion here, and then we select face select here, and I'm going to select these faces here. And this face is here, and just going to apply the red emission. Okay. Now, let's see. Did it apply it? What did I do? <laughs> just crazy. Oh, okay. <laughs> oh my god. Okay, so I'm going to select this edge loops here. And this one here. Press Shift D to duplicate. And three to side view. And then press um, <clears throat> it to extrude. Press G, Y. Bring out. Press um, Control L to select everything, and then Shift H to hide everything. Okay. So uh, vertex mode, and let me see. Let's see, one, two, three, four. So it'll be this three, okay. Well, okay. What I want to do is this, okay. From this um corner here, okay. Just gonna count here. One, two, three, four. Okay, so I'm gonna start on this one. One, okay. Then two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay. And then over here again, one, two, three, four. So I start on this one. One, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Okay. And I'm gonna go here on this option edge and this other option bridge edge loop. Okay. And uh, we'll put some face there. And what I need to do is now select here and press F to create a face and F see I like to keep it you know quads like four, on the four count you know one two three four but you can do it as a triangle also you know okay Okay, now I'm going to do this side, but I will be skipping this. Okay, that's done already. This part here. 
just going to select everything. Um, control L. And let's just go here to face and say smooth. Okay. Now, you see those weird um, shades here? See, that means uh, these faces are flipped. See? So, I mean, the, the normals here are flipped. So, in order to fix that, go ahead and mesh normals, or you can press Alt N <clears throat> and recalculate outside, and that fix that. Okay. See. Okay. Now, just going to create another material here. Oops, I already have one there, so just erase that one. Wow. Uh, this one here, so, uh, glass, and it's gonna make the red, dark red actually, and this alpha I'm gonna put it in point seven for now. Okay, that to make it transparent. So I'm going to select that, um, apply that material. Okay. Alt H to bring everything back up. Okay. And Alt H. Let's do a render test. Okay. I want to fix something on this material. I don't know why I didn't do that. Specular too high, so point two. And roughness is um point two to make it glossy, like if like glass. And that's it. Actually see I can go a little bit higher on the on the alpha here, just put a point eight. There you go. And on the red emission here, just put that to one. Or oh, maybe two. Ah, that much better, see? Okay. So, okay. Now that that's done. Oh, because I mean, you see it like this, but if we apply the subdivision surface, I'm, I'm sorry I didn't do that. Um, okay. It takes a while now because, see, now it looks smooth, see? Everything looks smooth, okay? Okay, so just going to select this, not that, this, this, and this. And I'm gonna hide it. Okay, now I want to just put this in face, select mode here. Okay, I want to do like the eyelashes. I want I want these eyelashes to emit light as well as her eyes here, her eyeball. Oh, this is this portion here okay so the only way I can do that is by going to the texture okay so just gonna go to the texture here if I look at the Texture folders, we see this is the, for the eyelashes, this is the diffuse, but I'm noticing there's an opacity one here. Ok, 
okay so I could take advantage of this one okay because if we see this okay um, I want only the hair to emit the light and everything else not be visible and this is how it exactly works with the background being black it only gonna it's only going to display whatever is in, in white or any other color okay so just gonna open that real quick here and okay I'm gonna open in the paint shop pro okay and I'm going to select the uh, magic one okay and let me see just select the uh, actually let me let me see duplicate this no I'm sorry let's go back let's go back just going to select this all oh, that is what here make sure this option here is not checked okay I mean that is if you're using this program um, on GIMP I don't know about that or Photoshop apparently everything selected okay and I'm just gonna go with that and select this op option here promote selection to layer okay and see that's all it did if I hide this okay and We go to this option, adjust, um, colorize. No, that's not the one. Um, I think it's this one. Oh, yeah, that's the one. Okay, let me see now if I can do the colorize more red yep okay that that okay and I'm going to save this here um, no. so red emission and, and PNG okay, okay. Now, um, let's go to the material and the eyelash material here. Okay, just simply close this. I'm gonna add an image texture and just going to connect the uh, summation open and I'm gonna look for that new texture there and now just gonna bump this to two and you see how that looks now you only get to see the the eyelash only you don't see the rest of it see Okay, we're going to do a render preview real quick. See, you're going to notice that the eyelash now, see, maybe um, 2.0 is too much, maybe 1.0. Okay, that looks much better. 
Okay. Just, um, in that explosion, she lost her eyes. You see all the glass flew through her eyes and see. So, let's do now the, the eye, okay? The eye is going to be the same concept. Um, wait, hold on. I need to select the, because um, the eyeball is not part of the body. See, so let me just enter here wireframe. And select the eyeball. Okay, here it is. And I'm gonna go back. And <clears throat> if you notice, all these textures are the same. See, for the cornea, the diffuse, they're the same. So I'm just gonna select this one for cornea. It doesn't matter which one I select. And. Okay. Now I'm going to select the selection here, and on selection type, I'm gonna put the uh, ellipse or no, actually circle. Okay. And now I'm going to try as much as I can to put this in the very center, and trying to select this. Okay, and promote selection to layer and selection. Okay, and I'm going to add a rest of layer. Okay. There, let's select here black and then with the flood tool, okay, to make that black, okay, and then I select this, promote it, um, selection, and I'm gonna go back and colorize it to red. See, that looks awesome. <clears throat> okay, and I'm gonna save it real quick. So, okay, now just gonna go back here to select the body. And no, no, hold on. Well, it doesn't matter. Okay, and select this one, the cornea. And I'm gonna do the same thing. Image texture. Mission. Open. Select that one. Let me put it on one to see. Let's do a render. Well, actually, the right one is her right. See, it's this one. <laughs> okay, in this case, I need to bump. I think one more. Okay, that looks good. Then left one we'll do the same thing real quick texture nice texture. You can look it up here, but there's so many textures I got there. I would prefer to look at here instead. A bit more quick. 
I say it was point three. No, not point three. Three point zero. Okay. Okay. Still run the preview. Okay. Looks good. All right. So let's bring everything back up. Let's just um, put back the subdivision surface. See how long it takes. Because I got it all the way to three. Okay. I mean, that looks awesome. Not see anything wrong with it. Okay, so let us do a last render preview. Okay, I want to do something real quick here. I take this off and I want to go here to object data property and on the shape keys I'm going to look for I blink I put the option to 0 0.1 let's see I want to kind of close out yeah just like that so she doesn't look with you know like she's she got her um her eyelids wide open okay. and that looks cool okay so now just go back again subdivision surface okay that looks cool and Okay, so I guess this is it for the second part, see? Like I said before, I was only going to focus on the head and yeah, seeing how much time it took me. So, I hope you have enjoyed this video. Um, if you did, please hit the like button and subscribe and thank you for watching. I'll see you on the third part.